Beautiful day out today. Karen is back. We're going to jump right to that. But real quick, I just installed this outdoor outlet. I'm getting sort of good with electrical work and uh, all that stuff. With prices the way they are, that was $75 in parts just for like the little box and the outlet itself because it has to be weather resistant. Uh, so got that installed and used some pretty choice tools which made the job pretty easy. I want to know what your favorite tools are down in the comments. Um, I know there's some DeWalt fanboys, a lot more Milwaukee than I thought, but well, Milwaukee's a great brand. I'm a McKee guy myself. Um, I also love uh, Milwaukee. So I rather probably have those two out of all the tool brands um it's actually cool how ryobi's stepping up rigid i haven't experienced too much but i would say makita is my number one milwaukee's number two and then i guess dewalt and then staying away from like snap on craftsman and stuff like that because those are more like mechanic wrenches and not really in the same category so let me know down below what your favorite tool brand is if you want free tools and you also want a free truck your chances to win free tools are actually pretty good Watch this. Here at Inchain Designs, just launched the dual giveaway, dual F450 with the any level lift on this one. We have some of my products over here that can enter you to win, not just these two trucks, but also a ton of Milwaukee and D-Wall tools. We have the Secure by AR-15 shirt, Mona Labe, the AK-47 bakery shirt, and the new Halloween shirt that just dropped. This is a pre-order, but the pre-orders are actually gonna start shipping out because we have a holding shipment of these ones here. So make sure you get on that. And the next few orders, Throughout the week on some of my products, I'll personally be putting in some of these Milwaukee tools. We got stickers, we got Binford here from the classic sitcom Home Improvement. Hearing loss may occur, also have that with the key tag, the pull to eject, and slower traffic keep right. And all of the 717 detail sprays, soot cleaner, car wash, and tear, and also the new wheel shine that just dropped. You guys have to get on this, the 717 diesel fuel coffee. I've been using this all week. It's amazing. Any of these products get you automatically entered to win either of these beautiful trucks and even a better chance on getting some of these awesome tools. Just opened up our PO box here. So if you want to send me or anyone else in the 717 crew, just make sure you address it right down here is the uh, the PO box address. Send us some cool stuff and we'll feature it in the videos. Oh my God, we got to fill up on gas. Oh yeah, let's go Brandon. Finally, some peace and quiet out here. I had to drive out to a buddy of mine's property because they, the Karen situation, first off, is out of control, but also neighbors are showing their house. So we got the truck parked out here in this beautiful backfield in Pennsylvania. I'll give you guys an update on the truck here and all the damage that ensued because it was in the shop for so long. That video is going to be up uh, pretty soon if it isn't already. The card's going to be right up here if that video is already posted. So this Karen situation happened about a little over a month ago. So things have happened even between them, but that's going to have to be its own separate video because what happened a month ago was just insane. Uh, what I have to go through with these stupid neighbors. I told you last time, if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. It's also up here, the first Karen encounter. But this one, what's ridiculous is she was complaining and is upset in general about my truck talking with neighbors she stops in front of my property she called the cops on me she's since called the cops again uh, just wasting the police time because there's so much other stuff that they have to deal with and the entire reason everyone commented on the last video what is so offensive about this rap they think that there's some type of explicit language or something like that it can't just be the color but that's exactly what it is Karen is upset about the trucks color this highlighter yellow which is a little bit ridiculous but it's nothing insane to the point that you're gonna call the cops all summer long so here we have Karen. She's walking along the road parallel to my home and she has a piece of paper in her hand. I didn't even think to check my cameras because of what she does right here. She's sticking a letter inside of my mailbox. Now she's never verbally confronted me uh, about the truck. It's, it's always been like behind the scenes and like she'll sneer or do something like that whenever I pass by. This is the first time she's ever given me a warning because she was always hiding behind the police where it's like she'll call the cops and uh, they'll come up and say something. So we do have the letter here that Karen wrote. It's like I'm living in a, in a dream. It doesn't make sense to me anymore in this America. I remember back in like the 90s, it was like, don't run with scissors, look both ways before you cross the street and don't talk to strangers. That was it. And now it seems like in life, like there's so many rules and guidelines you have to follow. I'm just, I can't take the cancel culture anymore because before it's just in Hollywood, you see actors and stuff like that get canceled over something that's not that crazy. Now there are some where they do something nuts and it's like, all right, man, maybe you need to go. But others, it's just like, man, you kind of feel bad for them. And now that this ridiculous ideology is coming at me because I'm a very simple man. All I want in life is a nice house, a nice piece of land and a really nice truck. Debatable to some, but I think so far I have at least one of those things and it's the nice truck. Even though I did just buy two acres uh, on the farm that Mike owns, gonna be building my house out there. So we're in progress for the other steps. But whenever this stupid, ridiculous ideology is coming after me, whenever all I wanna do is just complete my third step, which is have a nice truck, it's very, very sad. Without further ado, I'll head home and I'll read you the letter. This is it. One piece of paper 
Actually, let me, uh, I haven't read this in a little bit. I want to make sure there isn't, like, any personal information. I mean, she put it on here. I, I don't know what the legalities are that I can and cannot say here. So I'll read it aloud, and then you guys can take a look at it. Hello, myself and several, all in caps, of your neighbors have reached out to not just the township, but to the police concerning your truck. It is against local code laws, and your truck must either be repainted or face having us call to have it confiscated. My brother is a lawyer. Oh, God, I forgot how horrible this letter is. And he has assured me that we can get this done and the fines on your end will be quite hefty. I would take this warning seriously, exclamation point. Do not, in all caps, confront me after receiving this letter as I will simply contact the police and have you arrested. So here is the letter from neighbor Karen. Does not sign it, does not sign her name. Uh, I just, honestly, I'm assuming, and especially at the end here, she puts, uh, I will simply contact the police, do not confront me. Like I said, I'm quiet. I cut my grass, I keep to myself. It's There's no way where I go out of my way to upset people in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? I am extremely uh, conservative in terms of like not getting in anyone's face or making something someone else's problem. I, mean, I know whenever I first read this, I was like shaking mad because it's just like, who the hell do you think you are? And then I kind of back off a little bit because anyone who's this insane is most likely, they have tr a troubled mind, they can't help themselves, they're just, Something is severely wrong with them for them to think this way and just be like, you know what? I'm gonna go out of my way to ruin this person's day. All right, we got the bag secured right here, Chick-fil-A. There's something I forgot to mention yesterday in the video, uh, which for you guys, just a couple seconds. The fact that in the last video I made about Karen, there was a lot of people that were sticking up for her. Now, the majority of people were obviously against her because the majority, well, I don't know if the majority of Americans are sane, but a lot of Americans can definitely get behind the fact that this Karen epidemic that we're having is just out of control. But for some reason, there were so many people sticking up for her, just complaining and just being like, I was being too hard on her or whenever I said that she came onto my property technically three feet onto my land isn't my property that's public land which whatever but it just they're reaching and it's like why are we dying on the hill of sticking up for Karen whenever she is the one wasting the cops time wasting my time and just honestly making it such a huge deal over such a small issue so I don't know there's probably gonna be a couple people down in the comments right now saying uh, that I'm in the wrong for whatever is going on in this situation but uh, but I'm glad that the majority of you, the majority of viewers watching this, uh, agree with me that this is just absolutely insane. So I'm going to go home and eat some Chick-fil-A. Make sure, I, I didn't mention this before, but I did get married uh, last week, which was just one of the best experiences of my life. It was so incredible getting to marry the love of my life. Um, here's her Instagram down here uh, if you guys want to see that. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because my sister made an entire video of the wedding. So you guys can find that uh, down in the description if I can't put it up top here. Uh, but it just is like a play-by-play -play of the whole night. It was just, it was wonderful. Part two of this video is going to be dropping at 10,000 likes. If we can hit that, I should have said that at the beginning of the video. So if you guys can do that, 10,000 likes, we'll drop part two here where uh, we go and we're going to confront Karen. I'll do that live. Definitely not going to go onto her property because of her stern warning, but uh, we'll wait until she comes at least close to mine and go have a talk with her. Nothing crazy. I, it, it seems like it's always better to be the mature person in these situations, especially on camera. It just translates so much better uh, to look like just the calm, collected person, which that's all I want. I mean, granted, these videos are great for views, but for the most part, I just want left alone. So if I can somehow smooth this over with Karen and we can come to an agreement where she just leaves me the hell alone, I'll be very happy. Winter is just around the corner. We're gonna be taking this thing off-road in the snow because I didn't get a chance to last year with like the lift kit tires. So we'll see how much better it does this year around. All right, enough rambling. I'll see you guys in part two.